productive morning I have laundry going um, I clean my dining room table area I just had picked up some stuff around um, I even had some phone calls that I could take care of and some emails and oh Miss Millie and Miss Millie wants to say hi come sit sit what are you smelling my titty for <laughs> come sit sit um, so I am just updating you guys it is about a quarter to 12 um tomorrow i have surgery i'm waiting for a phone call to see what time my surgery will be um it's looking like it might be early in the morning so hopefully everything goes well i am hoping for the best and i think that's why i'm kind of like in a cleaning mode because i want to make sure everything is good so i don't have to worry about it when i come home because i'll be off i'll be not as easy to move around and do all of these things um, while I'm recovering and it will take at least about a week for me to really like I can't lift more than like a gallon of milk for example so that's why I'm doing the laundry and everything now and trying to move all of like the heavier stuff I can um, before my surgery tomorrow and again I hope everything goes well I understand that it's not uh, as big of a surgery as my first one however if they have to do a second method um, which would be equally as big as the first surgery then the healing time could be a little bit longer um, which I'm hoping it's not um, I know they're gonna try to use old incisions to take out my last ovary so I haven't really talked about what surgery I had the first time so if you have not seen my uh, vlog on kind of like my health update on what had happened I'll link it above um, however on my surgery um, I had a hysterectomy and the reason why I had to get a hysterectomy was because I have excuse my pronunciation menorgia which is heavy menstrual bleeding um which had triggered my anemia so i found out that i was anemic and that's why i had to get five blood bags of transfusion uh, when i went to the emergency room in mid-march um, had my surgery late april and um it is now June, so I had to wait six weeks after my first surgery, at least six weeks, so that my body is a little bit more healed and ready for the next surgery. They, Since your body is still kind of in shock from the first surgery, they did not, it, it would be worse for them to go in quicker. So um, I had a hysterectomy because of the, men, the menorgia, um, and my husband and I love millie so we haven't i mean if we really 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 wanted to have children children we would have tried years ago but we're at this point where we don't want any um you know we love millie and if anything we have more of the puppy feelings than we do have children feelings miss millie get out of there oh, she's in the laundry room i should have closed the door you come here babe so um, I had a hysterectomy and since then, um, let me tell you, no, I would bleed almost every day. Um, if anything, there was more days that I had bled than I had not, um, which really ruined the quality of my life, um, especially when it came to work as well. It really, really ruined the quality of life. 
So now I haven't had any issues. Um, they also had to remove one of my ovaries because there was a teratoma growing on both of my ovaries, but the one that got removed, which is I believe the left one, had a teratoma which was 13 centimeters. So they, after some scans, they realized, and they before they actually use, uh, they used a robot on my surgery they had to cut another incision to put a camera in to see if they could even go the robot route or if not then they would have to open like a big uh a big incision uh in my abdomen so luckily um i mean unlucky they had to remove that left ovary because the teratoma was so big what is a teratoma so teratoma teratoma wow I can say it once, can't say it again. So the teratoma is basically, it is a cyst, but because there's calcium building in it, um, guess what calcium has? Or what parts of our body has calcium? Hair, teeth, nails. So that teratoma was growing human-like features, which could possibly explain why my pregnancy test kept coming out positive. Uh, like I never was asked so many questions in my life if it's not my husband's baby, whose baby is it? And it's just like, what did I just say? I'm like, I also had a smaller teratoma growing on the right ovary, which because it was so small, they were able to release it from the ovary and I was able to keep an ovary. It's important to, so especially at someone my age, because then um, I wouldn't have to go through early menopause. However, in this next surgery, I'm getting that last ovary removed because there is some other things going on. Um, one that I'm not ready to talk about yet because if I do, I will start crying. So, I mean, I fully accept it on my own, but then when somebody asks and I, I just, let's just basically say I have an easier time talking about it via text messaging. In person, it's very difficult. So I will save that again for another video since this is just a vlog update. But that is a surgery that I have going on. And yes, if your question is, what's gonna happen to your hormones and all that? Will you go into, er into early menopause? Um, the hormones things, yes. Um, until I have the surgery, they will kind of determine what medical care I go after that. However, yes, because I won't have both of my ovaries, um, I will have some hormonal issues. So I know that was probably gonna be fixed with medication. And with having both of them removed and with, you know, with the his all of that, um, yes, I will go into early menopause. The time frame of it is my body's choice quite honestly i'm not prepared for that however i'd rather go through menopause as somebody who's young um i call myself young um i'd rather go through it at a young age than as somebody who's older but whatever if my body decides hey you're not gonna go through menopause when you're younger we're gonna f you up and do it when you're older whatever i'll take it i am a so much a say la vie girl sure i will run with it i'll roll with the punches but if you guys i don't know if you guys watch like the kardashians on hulu funny thing is i'd never watched the kardashian show prior to them being on hulu i don't know don't ask i just i guess one day i was like whatever i'm bored I'm gonna just watch it and now uh, they have a new season out. If you see the new season and you know everything that's going on with Chloe, I don't exactly have the same issue that Chloe has, but I have one that is similar. And how her mindset is, is very close, very, very close, actually down to the T on how I feel. And it's hard for me to really express my feelings a lot of the times. So 
hearing her talk about it i just related so well to it that's basically the only way that i can describe how i feel so if you guys haven't seen it i think it's the most latest episodes maybe episode three or two where they where chloe talks a little bit more about how she feels and that's just where i am about it and the funny thing is if you don't know how old i am find out what year chloe kardashian is because we are born on the same year so i'm actually not surprised that our mindset is kind of we're you know at the same level but i just couldn't relate enough to how she feels about what's everything that's going on lucky for her she is a-okay um i don't know yet if i will have that same a-okay time frame as uh she did blessings and hopefully i do but i appreciate you guys listening to my little rant um i am continuing to clean up it is getting a little bit late i'm gonna have some lunch i haven't eaten yet it is um almost the afternoon time and then i'm getting more text messages and i still haven't done any social media things i try to do at least an hour of social media today and i have a video launching tomorrow which i really need to finish oh and then i need to finish my saturday's video because while i'm recovering i don't know how that's gonna look like and this saturday's video maybe long or next for for next week wednesday might might be long so no no my time frame is on finishing that but i will check in with you guys a little bit later because i do want to get some stuff done today before my um appointment surgery tomorrow bye guys <laughs> hi guys so it is saturday june 10th i am about three days post-op and I intended to update every day after my pre-op however that did not work out <laughs> um, the reason why that hadn't worked out was because I have been experiencing crazy nausea motion sickness so different from my First surgery so my first surgery I was extremely nauseated for like the first 24 hours but it's just like you know drinking alcohol getting drunk and stuff where like if you throw it up you'll feel better so in this case I had thrown up still feel like crap so that is why I was not able to update you guys because I just I was just feeling so terrible like even right now um, I am still feeling a slight nausea um, my husband and I went to go to the UP to the UPS. We went to UPS to go and pick up a package, um, which I will show you guys later on. Um, and on the ride home, the motion sickness just hit me like a freaking car, a freaking truck. It just hit me. Um, so it is on and off throughout the day, and I, I feel like I'll get better. But I mean, after getting checked up on, they were like, oh, we can give you more medication, but that's like the last thing I want. I don't want to be on any more medication that I have to. Like this surgery was not, wasn't supposed to be, sorry, I'm going to move again because my arm is getting tired. So this surgery technically wasn't supposed to be as big as the first one, but it ended up being that way. And I just feel more pain this time around. I I, I don't know if it's because so they went through the same five incisions and I got a little nick as well which I guess isn't a bad a big deal but I did get nicked so it looks like I have six but technically no it's five incisions and a nick but it's just so different I the anesthesiologist wasn't the same so I think on the first surgery they put like a something called like a t-block I don't recall them talking about it this time they did give me a lot of, um, I told them that my first time I was really nauseated. So they gave me a lot of motion sickness, nausea, nausea medication. So I think that's why the first day when I came back for this time, I was extremely tired. It was probably because of that medicine. And because I don't have like that T-block or whatever the first anesthesiologist talked about. Boy, I am feeling it like this pain i mean i'm still controlling it with just ibuprofen and tylenol they did give me oxy however i refuse to take oxy um i will work through this pain but god i my husband asked me would you rather have 24 hours of intense nausea or 
72 hours of light nausea. I was like, boy, I'll take that 24 hours any day. I think being nausea nauseated is the worst feeling. I, I just am not a fan. I don't love it. So I'm still working with that. And today was actually the first day where I, I don't feel too bad. Um, but I was getting quite worried, um, to be honest with you. The reason why I look done up is because um, I filmed a video. I felt good enough to film one so I can stay on track with my Wednesday and Saturday uploads. Um, I did an unboxing, so I'm excited um, to share that with you guys because it's more than likely out before this vlog. I don't know. Maybe. If it is, I'll link it. If it's not, you'll see. But I absolutely love it. It was one for checking off on the wish list. And there's actually more things I want to add to it now. It's not so much a designer. It's more like I want that that new Dyson like from wet to dry because I shower so late or either... I shower so late, like sometimes I stay up just to have it air dry if I'm too lazy to blow dry it myself, but that's probably something I'd want in the future. Maybe it's future Sephora sale. But otherwise that, guys, this surgery update is just now waiting for the results. Um, oh, I am exhausted. I don't want to do any more surgeries if I don't have to. I officially had put back my jewelry on um, because you can only go with plastic so you don't get burned. Um, I, I put all my jewelry back on. I am ready to redo my nails like no more. I don't want any more surgeries. I just want to know what the plan is after this and move on from this part of hardship in my life. <laughs> but otherwise that guys I'm gonna go ahead and play some Animal Crossing finish editing my 2023 bag collection video which is more than likely out before this um, and then I'll catch up with you guys later tomorrow I'm hoping to get my second uh, UPS pickup because there's something I've been wanting to also show you guys um, but that's till later have a good night guys bye <laughs> Aloha guys, it is May the 12th of June and I am going to go to Costco. There's Miss Millie. She was just making a ruckus, I'm sure. So I just quickly got ready to go to Costco. She's just being crazy. But I did want to share something with you guys. I recently did my nails in this beautiful brown and some sparkle because I just got re-upped on some new gel nail polishes. I've talked about them before. Their names changed along the way. However, formula is still fantastic. So I got a restock. I got some restock on the Nail Reserve Gel Polishes. I've talked about them before on my channel many a times before. So I love doing my nails when of course I am in the mood. And then I just added in some stickers, but I'm using two of the colors that I just recently got. So this beautiful brown in Italian Latte. And then um, to add some sprinkles, some sprinkles. And to add some sparkle to them, I had also did Not Ashamed. But there is a few other colors that I got as well. I'm not going to paint every one of my nails um, because I'm going to do them, you know, eventually. But I had did some swatches and oh my god. I have to tell you the colors that I picked... A1, I already know which ones I'm gonna switch into. So um, this first one here, this is the one that I currently have. So this is the Italian Latte. So it is a very cute brown color. Um, the next one here is Ravishingly, Ravishingly Naked. And it's more of a 
rosy nude color. And then one step down from that is right here. This is Sandman. Um, I'm in between if I'm gonna do this one next or the one that I'm saying after. But Golden Crown, look at this beautiful sheer pink. I wish you could see how beautiful it sparkles, but that sheer pink might be the next one. Or a full blown not ashamed instead of just using it as like little accents. This is how cute it is on a full nail. And just so you guys know as well, this is just one coating. Um, I did not do multiple because I don't want to waste it. Um, and I just wanted to show you pigmentation. But yes, this is just one coat, guys. Another one is... Oh, one of them's falling off. This is another beautiful one too. This is called Sparkles. So this one here actually looks like pearl um so pretty which is probably another one i know i'm gonna use like really soon mist is going to be more of an ivory at first it looks a little bit more on the light gray side but then it kind of just ivories down and then this one here that's looking like it's falling down because it's a bigger uh, fake nail is pool party in the beautiful blue i knew i needed that uh, Papa Blue. I'm in my blue era right now, but I'm so happy that I got new colors and I love them so much. I love Nail Reserve so much. I feel like I need to buy like a little stand now because I have so many different colors that um, I get to play with. But if you guys want to do your own gel nails, which I do recommend, it's very therapeutic, very self-care, self-aware. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below where you can get up to 50% off if you buy two or more. But of course, all the information will be down below if you have any questions. If you use my promo code Rochelle50. If you subscribe to SMS or text messaging, you will be the first to know about new items, sales, and get discounts. Find out more about the VIP subscription as well in the description box. Thank you so much, Nail Reserve, for sponsoring me on this video and gifting me these beautiful gel nail polishes. Okay guys, so it is, let me turn off the TV. It is already pretty close to midnight. But your girl is still hungry. Um, so the last footage you've seen is uh, like just a little snippet of what we bought from Costco. The one thing that I need to... I don't know what happened to my recording. I was recording on my iPhone and all of a sudden it just started going slow-mo. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about this garlic dip that I got from Costco. It's called Tomb. It is the most amazing garlic dip ever. And it's made out of fresh ingredients with sea salt, like less than seven ingredients. So good. I would recommend it. I think it's like a limited time only thing at a Costco. So if you see it, I would say if you are a garlic lover, try it. But I am going to end this vlog here. I'm going to eat some of this dip with a slice of Costco pepperoni pizza and have a good time. Until next time. Thank you.